Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Jeanette here. So, I'm back again with another study abroad video. This is a QA. and a I haven't done one in a while. But guys, if you come into my Instagram DMs, it's crazy. The question's insane. So, I realized that most of the questions are very, very repetitive. So, I decided to do another Q&A since I haven't done one in a while. If you have any more questions concerning study abroad, just come to these videos. I have a whole playlist on study abroad. And if your question is still not answered, then you come into my Instagram DM. Then, I can help you that way. Make sense? Capish? So, I've screenshot all the questions here so i'm going to answer it accordingly the first is hello i had a refusal of an f1 visa section 214b motivated you were not able to demonstrate that the activities you plan to carry out in the united states i intend to make a new request i need solutions for this reason at first i didn't understand but have you actually explained it to me so let's go to section 214b f1 visa it says if you are refused a visa under section 214b it means that you did not sufficiently demonstrate to the consular officer that you qualify for the non-immigrant visa category you applied for i've said this in my previous videos if you have an f1 visa interview and then you go tell them that well i have family back home i have my wife back home i have my husband back home so i'm going to work so i can take care of them that is immediate denial f1 visa is not for work whatever that has you tied back to your country if it's your work if it's a business if it's your wife if it's your family whatever it is make sure you let them know that they are all sorted out do not go and tell them you are going to work to prevent for them if you have a wife back home make sure she's sorted or tell them she's sorted tell them your husband is sorted if it's your farm if it's your business whatever it is that ties you back to your country make sure you tell the officer that it is sorted do some research before you go for the interview so if you have more questions about my interview or the interview procedure and what questions were asked make sure you check the video i leave in the description box or up here up here he said he needed more reasons i don't know how he answered the question so i can't really tell you what to say but usually they do not want to hear that you're going to work and if you have any more questions just hit me up in my dms or just comment on the video and then i'll answer it this person said please how do i apply for the full scholarship i mentioned in my previous video on me getting full scholarship i did not apply for the scholarship I also have a video on where to get scholarship i was given the scholarship because i had a really good grade make sure you're making a's or b so that you can keep that scholarship so my whole three years i didn't pay anything tuition books everything was paid for they have different types of scholarships too you should check that video out also she said wanted to know which foundation i should apply through i'm seeing one james e clyburn scholarship and research foundation and i don't know if that's good when i provide you with that information do a little bit of research because i found that information to give to you all i'm not sure which is the best if you go to that video looking at all the scholarships you can do some research on it and look at the one that best suits you or that you qualify for you may not qualify for this particular one just do some research and you will know hi miss Mansa. please i want to know how much it will cost for all the fee one should pay to study abroad in your school and please what's the name of the school the name of the school is benedict college and it's in columbia south carolina and how much it will cost i left the school a while ago things have definitely changed so i can't give you the exact cost because when i was leaving they changed the precedent and a lot of things have changed since then so google google and find Benedict College in Columbia, South Carolina. For tuition, go to the Office of International Programs. They have it on the website. Contact Mr. Miko. I'm not sure if she's the same person there, but definitely you can get a representative from Office of International Programs. And even if you can't call because you think it's too expensive, shoot them an email. I promise you they will reply. Hi, Jeannie. Please, I want to know if you want to study abroad, a total cost involved. I mean, the money you'll be paying through the process. Let me hear from you. I don't want to give figures yet because what if I tell you it's thousand dollars, it's two thousand dollars, and you go in it's ten thousand dollars or five hundred dollars so just go to the website benedict college i'll leave the link to the website to my school in the description box below and you can check it out and contact the office of international programs if you have any more questions concerning how much you're going to pay the tuition and everything will be on the website too so hello please i was watching your videos from your youtube channel i wanted to ask which color
college you attended and wanted to know if they offer theology or religious studies I don't know honestly I really have no idea but I study biology so go to the website and find that information out it's Benedict College again I'll leave the link in the description box below and I attended Benedict College in Columbia South Carolina hi I just watched your YouTube video about going to study abroad I'm a 17 year old Jamaican looking for advice and help in going to the US to study I was wondering what college you went to and if you're willing to answer questions I have looking forward to your response so yes I went to Benedict College in Columbia South Carolina and if you have any questions make sure you watch all the videos I made on study abroad and if your question is not answered definitely hit me up in my DMs like you did and I can help you I did apply for the college and they sent an email which says that I should send documents in order for me to receive the I-20 I would like to know which documents should I send specifically honestly as I'm talking to you right now I won't be able to remember it I do have a video of all the documents you need to be able to study about or if you're going for your visa interview make sure you watch that video because I share with you all the documents you should have or if the school is asking for documents and usually it's like a transcript and your resume just contact office of international programs so just go to the website we definitely have every information that you need hello Jeanette hi honey I really love your content thank you so much and I have a few questions I recently received my I-20 and I'm about to apply for the US visa I listed my sibling living in the US as my sponsor during my college application can I go with my mom's bank statement together with my sibling's bank statement for the added effects yes 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 take all the documents you have whatever documents you have take it with you whatever bank statements you have take them with you because at the end of the day you don't even know what you would need you don't want to leave something in the house and then they ask you for it and you're like oh no I have it in the house just take every document necessary so yes in this case take all the two bank statements for added effect also I applied to a community college for associate degree in biology to complete a prerequisite courses for a nursing school I plan to transfer to another school after the degree how do I explain that during the visa interview do not do it okay so once you get your I-20 the name of the school is on your I-20 and if you are going to study there for three years two years one year that is the school you are supposed to be in do not go to the interview telling them that well I'm going to transfer I'll move to this school move to that school if you are going to be there for three years that is the school you expect you to be in for three years transferring as an international student is really not a good idea I advise you not to do it that could make them deny your F1 visa and it's not advisable to switch schools or transfer I may be wrong but I spoke to my office of international program some time back about this same thing and they told me not to so this might be the very last because the questions are repetitive hello please I just watched your video on your YouTube channel concerning blacks who want to study in the United States I'm one of them and I'm currently doing my service can you please help me out with the process or enlighten me a little that is why I made a whole list of videos for study abroad I have so many videos studying abroad go ahead and check them out if you want to know the process that's why I created a video so that if you want to know what the process is like I shared all of that into detail on my process I went through to actually come to the US to study these are some of the few questions that kept coming up I hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you want more study abroad videos definitely let me know I'll be making them anyway okay I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video mm, bye Original Batman. Speak to me. She give me from me heart, say she give me from me heart. Fine girl, I call me now.